Brexit is definitely a risk to the office occupiers. One of the key features about the Brexit risk is the degree of uncertainty. Property owners, property developers, property occupiers hate uncertainty and with Brexit there are far too many variables at the moment for anyone to really know what's going to happen. The BCO has commissioned a report to look at the implications of Brexit for the UK property market and what the BCO has set out to do is to show the scale of impacts that could happen from mass immigration to the continent of the financial services to just a slight hiccup. The UK is a fantastic tech hub. We've seen growth in the London office market in the last few years from people like Facebook, Amazon, Google. What we need to do is to make sure that all companies can operate and I think and our ability to deliver that on the supply side is just as fundamental to London office growth as any demand side challenges of leaving the European Union or of changing ways of working. At a time when the City of London has the lowest vacancy rate it's had in living memory of 3%, there is no oversupply of office space to worry about. We're seeing the city adapting yet again to the changing office regime. We're seeing the ideas pioneered in places like Shoreditch, with where leisure and work merge and melt together. What we're seeing now is the growth of co-working space. A recent Fitch report estimated that co-working spaces could cut traditional office demand in London by 25%. The changes in office occupation and office operation are much greater than any changes that are going to be brought upon us by Brexit. The British are very pragmatic. We're known for being pragmatic and we will take what hand we're dealt as soon as we know what it is. We'll take what hand we're dealt and make the most of it. The BCO representing the whole of the development sector wants to see positive leadership and positive thinking from politicians, from occupiers, from all those who have the opportunity to make this current period of rapid change work for the better. I think in 2030 people will remember Brexit and I think we'll still be living the effect. What we don't have is a sort of parallel universe where you can see UK in Brexit and UK outside Brexit. But London has weathered tremendous shocks before and I'm sure it will weather it again. Thank you.